Hello everyone, welcome to Publish Prime. Today we will be looking at how to create a KDP book cover on Canva using the best possible methods. So as I always say, before making a book cover, you should be very sure that what size your book is going to be, which includes the dimensions of the book, which is the trim size as they call it and the number of pages. So this is the Amazon KDP cover calculator provided by Amazon. Always use this tool no matter how much experience you get always use this tool it saves a lot of time this is coming from experience so let's see how you do it so now we have a binding type which is paperback most of the books are paperback then interior type is standard paper or black and white we'll go with black and white then we have white paper then we have reading direction mostly left to right measurement unit inches now trim size is the most important one so we will today uh, we will design the one which is like 8.5 by 11 which is the most common size for most of the books so let's click that so it is 8.5 by 11 and the page count i'm going to take is 108 the reason for this is up till 108 the printing cost of amazon is 2.30 dollars so it remains the same beyond this it keeps on increasing uh, by like 0 0.023 cents so it's like 0 0.2 cents approximately uh, for each page or something like that. And most of us who are trying to create these kind of books, they don't go beyond 108 pages, uh, which includes coloring books, journals or uh, quotes, uh, books on quotes or some uh, various kinds of coloring books as well. So now as we can see, we have fit in, filled in all the information and let's calculate the dimensions and do not get bogged down by this diagram. Just click on download template on the left bottom corner here and in this figure the only thing which you have to concentrate on is this particular thing that's it don't worry about anything else so let's go to canva now and use these dimensions i'll copy the width and i'll open canva now and in canva i'll click here this is the canva desktop app you can do it anywhere in an online app as well you don't require canva pro for this and now First of all, change the unit to inches and now the width is copied from there which is 17.5 approximately and height is 11.25 and click on create new design. In the meanwhile, let me show you something which is this. This is another important page which is trim size and bleed. Don't get, ever get confused about bleed. Bleed is something when your images extend from page to page which is uh, the image or the cartoon and this is mostly uh, valid for cartoon kids cartoon books or kids story books which has the entire page covered in graphics which is also called uh, to give you the analogy uh, when we print a picture uh, from our printer it has white borders and if we don't want that they call it borderless printing so the concept is similar to that so what happens in printing when they cut the page when they cut this page like this to not have the white papers outline around the entire book they ask you to extend the image beyond the margins so that or beyond the trim bleed or bleed which they call it and that's the reason you will have a picture or a book page like this one on the right hand side if you don't give it like this it will look like this that's the only thing about bleed so never worry about bleed now here in the examples of page size without bleed we'll go for this our book size is 8.5 by 11 this one correct so the only thing here you can see is with bleed it changes by 1.25 like 0 0.125 so let's come down and find out this thing so our book falls into 24 to 150 pages then inside gutter which is the inside margin which is this part of the book this this grayish part of the book at the center this is always bigger because you know when we used to open textbooks uh, we were not able to see certain words if the binding was incorrect that's the reason this is always more compared to these outer margins which are the right margin top margin and the bottom margin so you have to concentrate on the inner margin first 
and the outer margins can be set to 0.25 all of them so we'll see that now in canva so now this is the thing and that thing is for the book but you can follow the same thing for the cover as well so now to turn on the margins it is shift r on the keyboard when you're using windows or you can go to file settings show margins now mine is already ticked and yours won't if you tick this you will have these margins on the left and the top so how do you do it you just bring it down so here it's zero and just pull it down and at the top you can have like 0 0.25 at least and we are giving it 0 0.89 and now the left margin which is the outer margin as well you can have it like 0 0.35 i give it more and the easiest way to replicate the margins is without getting into the math is going here into elements getting a shape and putting it there so we have the exact shape here oh it's very tedious to match that yeah so now we have the exact square we can go here we can duplicate it with control d and then pull it off from there i mean drag it off from there and put it here exactly on the corner like this and once you have it here you can drag the margins like this and till the time they touch it and you can draw it here as well and now you have the perfect margins from all the sides and they are equivalent and don't worry you won't make a mistake i just showed you this for the sake of it you know we downloaded the uh, template from the paperback designer from here so let's open that template now that template has a PDF and an image. Let's drag and drop that image over here. And now, before you uh, make use of that template or drag it, just do one thing. Go to File, Settings and Log Guides. So these are the guides in Canva. So they won't move the margins which we drew. So now you drag this thing and put it exactly at the center. And before that, you can delete these squares which are of no use now yeah and now you can drag it exactly at the corner and then drag it from here exactly like this now if you see you don't have to make any alter adjustments which is like moving vertically or horizontally you have to move diagonally so that it fits in exactly and this is how you come to know your cover is going to be perfect and if you see now we took the margins as 0 0.375 although it suggested that it should not be that but if you see you have to keep everything within these margins within the pink line there is a lot of mar the word margin so we'll say that within the pink line so that your design doesn't get cut off or doesn't have any kind of deformity while it's printed or after printing or after cutting the book or after trimming the book and similarly at the center as well which is the gutter you will have to keep everything within the this area so to make sure that it happens that way click on the, that image and put the transparency to 35% enough so that we can see the pink lines from the inside and although we have these margins for reference only then to remember that everything is should be inside the pink line so now and one more thing on a book cover if you have any kind of images or elements for example let's take this if you put it like this it is going to extend throughout the no not this one let me give you an example of volume or a sticker sale something like this so you know we see volume or uh, updated edition kind of thing so if you have it here you can put it like this and it would get cut off properly because covers are by default bleed ready so don't get confused again if you have to put something like this you can put like this but just make sure that everything falls be inside the yellow line or sorry inside the pink line so that's it so you can put something like this and then you can come up with a heading 
so let's give it a heading say vintage man let's say this is a book and this is an updated edition so we'll just keep it like this and now we will delete it from behind the image which we took from amazon we'll just delete it and say you want something like a body of text over here so we can keep it like this and i know that what the margins are and let me grab some text which is like uh lorem ipsum uh, this is a text generator i don't know the history but yeah this is how it is and it is used by everyone and now you can put the size to 12 to 12 and you can put it here and mine well uh here you have the gutter margin as well as the barcode which you have to keep empty so just don't let it extend beyond that or keep it somewhere here so that it doesn't fall outside the pink lines so now you are done with this so say this is the simple cover which we have for 8.5 by 11 and now you can click on download if you are in canva select the print for print pdf and then flatten pdf and crop marks and bleed as i told you given the dimensions you have to mark this don't get into the technicalities you have to mark this when you are preparing a cover you always have to mark this when you are in canva and if you have canva pro select cmyk for printing and just download and your cover is good to go and it will be downloaded perfectly i mean it will be uploaded perfectly to the amazon kdp if you have any more questions or concerns please let me know i can make a video about it as well thank you for watching